Today I'm going to show you how to download and install Merlin in under 5 minutes. So let's get started. Go ahead and open up your Google and in the search bar go ahead and type in TH3D Unified Firmware. And I'll put a link to this down below. Click on the first link, scroll down to where you see download latest version. Now just a quick side note guys, I found it easier to use a PC even though I'm a Mac user. So if you have a PC, I recommend that you do that. It doesn't have to be top of the line, um, but just go ahead and use a PC. It's a lot easier. So once you're there, go ahead and click on download latest uh, firmware. And as you can see, it's downloading right there. And once the download is complete, you go into your download folder, folder and look for the TH3D. Right click on it, and then you have to hit extract all files because this is in zip format. So once you do that, it's going to pop up where do you want to save it. I just saved it right into downloads and you go ahead and hit next and then as you can see right here it's going to extract all the files. This is a pretty big file based on your computer and your internet speed. This might take a little bit longer than five minutes but it's not going to take too long. But once everything is done as you can see right here it's almost finished. <clears throat> go ahead and click on the file and then scroll down to the second to the last where it says open firmware windows. Once you click that you'll see the TH3D that actually pops up. So once this is done loading, just go and continue uh, right here to the next. Uh, you don't have to really make any changes to it. And once you do that, the program is going to keep loading. And then it's going to bring you here. Arduino version 1.8. Now at this point, go ahead and go to your printer. As you can see right here, I have my laptop ready. Make sure your printer is off. And unplug the power cable just to be on the safe side that you see that I do right there. Now after that, you're going to take the cable and connect it from your control box to the laptop as you can see right here. And once you do that, you should see your LCD light up as you see right here as soon as I get out of the way, of course. But once you plug it in, the computer is going to be powering your control box and that's what we want. Now open up Arduino again and the fifth tab is called Configuration H. What you want to do here is click anywhere inside and then hit Control F. And that's basically like a find feature. So as you can see, I typed in CR10S and it brought up that printer right there. That's the one I'm going to be actually flashing. So, But if you look around, there's multiple printers out there. For example, there's the Ender 3. And again, you just hit Control F, and then the little screen will pop up. And then you just type in Ender, and it'll bring up all the Enders that you see right there. You got the Ender 3, and there's a 2, there's the Pro, uh, version 2, whatever you need. And then, for example, let's say if you have the AlphaWise, uh, you can type that in too and that'll come up. So once you do that and find your printer, the next step will be to uncomment your printers to make it active. So as you can see, you got the CR10S right there. I'm going to scroll down. Uh, you're going to uncomment and what I mean by that is delete those two dashes. Now once you delete that, the defined CR10S should turn green or the defined part should right there turn green. And if it does, you did it right. And then what you want to do after this is make sure you look at the board right there. And for the CR10S is the Arduino Mega 2560. So you're going to go down to tools, make sure that board is selected. And under port, make sure it's on COM3. Not regular port or serial port, but COM3. And once you do that, click on the little check mark right there. It's going to verify everything for you. Basically, it's compiling all the changes that you've made. And what we've done so far is just activate the CR10. And once the compiling is done, you're going to go to upload. Just make sure your power is unplugged and your computer is connected to the printer. Now, while the upload is happening here, guys, your screen will be locked. How do you know when it's done? Because this will happen. The TH3D logo will come on and then the Marlin and then the version. And if you notice right here at the bottom, um, it actually tells you what the file was or the name that it's picked already by default. And if we go into the menu here, you'll see that everything works fine. So when I go to my control box here, uh, just like the previous one, I got the info, prepare, control, insert SD. Um, everything is here. Move, access, all of that good stuff is there. And it's that easy. That's how easy it is to upload the new Merlin firmware onto your printer. Now, guys, before I end, I just want to say... Give a little bit of thanks to the TH3D Studio. These guys put all of this together for you uh, completely free. They're, they're helping out the community. If you guys need anything, 
I'll put a link to their shop down below. I don't get anything out of this. I just want you guys to show them a little bit of love because they're doing all this for free. So if you guys are upgrading uh, the main motherboard on your control box or if you're looking for a BL Touch or if you're looking for anything 3D printing related, um, go ahead and check them out. Like I said, they're doing this all for free. Show them a little bit of love. And let me know what you guys thought. Is it as easy as I made it out to be or is it... Uh, troublesome is there something not working out for you guys is there any obstacles that you ran into um just put it down in the comment section i'll get back to all of you guys like i always do and remember guys if you're brand new to the channel and you like this video go ahead and subscribe to the channel hit that notification bell there's a lot of good information coming out so this way you'll be notified when it does and with that said guys like always good luck and happy printing